What's up, YouTube? So today is Tuesday. We're going to do a Medical Technology Tuesday. We're going to talk about 3D printing and surgery. Pretty sweet stuff. If you haven't noticed, I have a little different venue today. This is the call room. That's the refrigerator, microwave, very important. Usually we have Oreos up there, but my partner forgot to buy them, so I have to get them. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into it. So. I found this company that is really cool. Let me go to the uh, switch cameras here. Check this out. So this company is called Axial 3D. And what they do is make anatomical 3D printed um, uh, anatomy for surgeons, basically. And, but there's a few different applications. So what they use uh, these things for, the 3D printing, is to en enhance patient communication, number one, pretty awesome, um, transform surgical, surgical outcomes. So changing right, the outcome, some of these surgeries maybe you wouldn't be able to do because you don't know the anatomy. And if you have a, a better look at the anatomy, a closer look, a more detailed look, then you can actually say, okay, we can do this operation. or uh, you might save the patient from going into an operation that they can't, you know, sometimes you go to do an operation and you say, this is a non-resectable tumor and uh, we're going to leave and we're going to leave the tumor here. And now we did an operation for nothing. So I think it's really cool that these guys are doing this. This is uh, another kind of, you know, tool in your, in your um, tool chest that I think we could use as, as surgeons. Um, and they also improve clinical productivity. So, um, there's a they've got a couple cool cases of surgeons actually decreasing their time during surgery because once they get the three-dimensional model let me let me show you a couple three-dimensional models these are pretty cool um, hold on this is where is it this is a cool one. Oh, here it is this one here um, they printed this model for this uh, patient who <clears throat> excuse me, this patient who got in a, um, a car wreck, doesn't want to do it, um, my computer's overloaded, uh, and you can see his, his fracture line um, here in his face, and so they were able to preoperatively choose the hardware and instruments and measure everything and, uh, and put everything together so they didn't have to do it during the operation, so the patient has less anesthesia, which is awesome. So um those are those are really cool and if you go on their website they have uh, a few of these that you can kind of turn around and stuff pretty awesome um this is a, another um example and this patient actually got shot in the neck this is a cervical spine here um so one two three uh four so c4 c5 you can see the bullet fragments in the red there and then uh, we can see some of the the fragments of the uh, spine that came out. Oh. To zoom, not so much. There we go. See the fragments came out, and if we look, we can even see kind of the hole where the bullet went through, which is pretty crazy. So they were able to figure out exactly, you know, what was going on with this cervical spine, and if we could, they could go in and um, you know fix anything. And actually, the, the surgeons ended up um, putting some um, some hardware in this spine to stabilize it. So, but they were able to see beforehand, uh, before the surgery, what's going on. This company uh, called I, I'm, I'm not paid for saying this. They just it's a cool company. I'm trying to find for Tuesdays. I'm trying to do a technology Tuesday. So I thought this was a really cool medical technology that we could talk about. Um, this company does these renderings or these 3D models in 48 hours. So if you get a CAT scan, let's, sorry, let's change back. So if you get a CAT scan or MRI, you give it to the company and then they send you this model within 48 hours. So that's pretty cool. It's not, you know, it's not emergent, obviously it's for not for, for like emergency trauma stuff, but in 48 hours, the patient is okay and you need to go back and stabilize something or you have, you can have some time to plan for the surgery then you can use these guys. I, just, I thought it was pretty cool. So that is uh, Medical Technology Tuesday. I hope you liked the video. If you guys like these, 
subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. You could give me a thumbs down if you want, but I mean, come on. These are cool. These are fun, right? I want to, I want to bring you some new fun videos every day. So Mondays, I think we're going to do Monday movies and I'll do a reaction to a movie. And because of Halloween, I think I'm going to do another uh, horror movie next week. Tuesdays, we'll do uh, Technology Tuesdays. Wednesday, I think maybe How To Hump Day we're going to do. Thursday, I'm going to talk about COVID. And then Friday, I'm going to try to do Friends Friday. I'm going to bring uh, some of my friends who are in the medical community on. We'll talk about different things, and I think it'll be fun. So that's my plan. I hope you guys like this. If you do, share these videos. It'd be awesome. And subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, all right, you guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.